Yes, it's hot. And if you're young and you're struggling with this heat, then let this be a reminder to get fit. Because if you're fit, it's easier to deal with this kind of heat. I'm really struggling right now because I'm not fit. I'm healthy, relatively healthy, but I'm not fit. And if I had been fit, it would be me. It would have been much easier for me to deal with the heat. But I'm also in an oven-like situation and at some point it gets too hot and the moisture dip disappears from the air. What can you do against that? Well, as you can see, I just stuck my head under the cold shower because that cooled down my head a little bit and evaporating water costs heat, costs energy, so that helps keep you cool as well. Another thing that you can do is take a towel well, make it wet and put it around your neck like so. I didn't wet it enough, but if you make this really wet, it really makes a difference. And what I've done previously, when I also was really struggling, I was working very hard at the time, focused on work, and I hadn't realized it had gotten progressively hotter, and all of a sudden, you know, you just collapse, basically. You can't work anymore. And I spent days with a wet towel on my head and just absolutely doing nothing because it felt like my brain was being fried. It was very, very, very unpleasant, that feeling. I don't wish that on anyone. Really unpleasant. And yeah, it's really hot. They were supposed to start cooling down, I think, yesterday, and then it was tomorrow, or today, and then tomorrow, and then Monday, and now I think it's going to be Wednesday when it's starting to cool down. I don't know. Anyway, we're still going to have some hot weather. Stick your head under the shower, put a wet towel around your neck, put a wet towel on your head. Doesn't make a difference, doesn't matter that you look like an idiot, <laughs> as long as you stay sane. If you deal with dopiness, lack of energy, one of those energy drinks, a sugar-free energy drink can help, but don't overdo it. Just take one and take a sip every once in a while. Don't just gobble up this stuff, but it can help you, can give you a little bit more energy. I find that it works better than, for example, coffee and that dehydrates you too. Of course, drink lots of water, but also make sure that you eat some salt crisps for example because if you're sweating and even if you're not sweating and just evaporating through your skin because the air is drying you don't even realize that you're uh, sweating you also lose salt so don't just drink water make also sure that you take in some salt replenish your salts eat certain foods potatoes for example maybe drink grapefruit juice actually that's better at the moment than uh, just water because grapefruit juice for example has potassium in it uh, yeah and if you're young and healthy and are struggling with this heat well let this be a lesson for you get fit when you're fit this kind of heat is much easier to deal with I used to run in this kind of weather when I was living in Florida I used to run in this kind of weather. It helps your body work much better. It helps you. It helps me stay much more functional. And for those who don't know that, or just as an afterthought, when I was living in Florida, when I had just moved there from Amsterdam, I got really badly dehydrated one day. I was giving three talks in one week, three consecutive days, I think. And during the second talk, I suddenly got really, really woozy, felt faint, and continued my talk sitting on a chair. And after the talk, somebody walked up to me and said, I think you may have gotten dehydrated. He was a... Um, yeah, that's the heat. Desert storm, that's what I was looking for. He was a desert storm veteran and he had experience with dealing with extreme heat and he told me to go home and drink and make sure I ate some crisps, cr crisps, chips we call them. The rest of the world calls them chips except perhaps also Australia, I don't know. And yeah, I had been running around making photocopies in those days. We did still a lot of photocopying. I've been running around a heck of a lot and 
gotten badly dehydrated. Anyway, I went home and drank approximately four liters of water in one go, which is not usual. I think I drank two liters straight and then two more liters shortly after. That's when you realize, yes, I had gotten really dehydrated because this is not normal. Thing is, you don't notice it. You, you expect to realize it. You expect to notice it when you're getting, de getting dehydrated, but you don't. You very often don't. Yeah, you may feel a little thirsty, but you often feel a little thirsty. It doesn't necessarily mean anything. You don't pay attention to it, particularly not when you're running around a lot. I just suddenly felt like was going to faint. I felt very weak, muscle weakness and so on. It took me a week to recover. It took me a full week to recover, get back to, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit longer even. I had gotten really badly dehydrated. So yeah, been there. 